Hey guys, this is Vishal. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about use of file connector component to read and write files in MuleSoft. First of all, we'll go ahead with reading a CSV file and transform its data into different format. Later on, we'll create a CSV file or write a CSV file by transforming JSON response received from the REST service. So let's get started. All right. So this is my CSV file which I'm going to read in MuleSoft using file connector. It has total four columns. One is account number, account type, currency and transaction amount. What I'm going to do is that I'll read this CSV data into the MuleSoft using file connector and then I'll transform it into a different format like a JSON or string or some other format. Then once I read this file and its data, I'll be moving this file to this backup files directory. So let's get started. Now the first component we'll be requiring to create a flow is a file connector. So I search for the file connector. I click on it and drag it into my palette. The display name I'm going to give is like CSV reader. Path property is the directory location where the file is present. So this is my directory where it should listen. I copied it and paste it into this path property. All right. Now move to pattern is a pattern or the file name. Once you move that file from that directory to the another directory. So I want to keep it as an original file name. Now in order to access the original file name, you have to write an expression just like this message dot inbound properties dot original file name. Now on top of it, in, in case if you want to append some token like backup or loaded to the file name, we can do that. But as of now, I want to keep it as a original file name. Move to directory is a backup files directory where I'll be moving it. So this is my directory. So I just copy from here and paste it into this. Move to directory. All right. Now, if I go down a bit inside polling information, there are two properties. One is a polling frequency and second is a file age. Polling frequency is a time where after this much amount of time, it will hit to that particular directory. And these values are given in milliseconds. So I want to keep it as a 1000 milliseconds. Now, the file age is the minimum amount of time a particular file should spend in that directory before it is getting picked up by file component. This is important when the files you're reading is large like in MBs or GBs where mule has to wait for this much amount of time where it, you will be mentioning over here before that file completes so that you will avoid the partial reading of that file. So as of now, I'll keep both value as is. Now the file name filter. This describes what type of file you're going to read from the directory. Now I want to read only CSV files. So I'll be creating an expression or regex pattern for it. I'll click on this plus symbol. Here I'll mention the pattern like anything CSV. I uncheck this case sensitive checkbox. I click on finish. That's it. The configuration for a file connector is done. Now I want to read the CSV file and transform it into the string format. Now there is a specific transformer given over here that's called file to string. So I click on it and append it to this file connector. Nothing has to give into this file connector or transformer as of now. I'll keep as is now. I'll add a logger eventually just to print the file data to see how do we get it inside message. I just give payload. That's it. A flow is created. Let's see how it behaves. So I just start the application run as mule application file is present 
at this location once it started it should pick up this file all right application is deployed now it will pick up the file transform it into a string format and print it now it has picked up it transform into a string here you can see it is printing because we have added that payload into the logger and this is the data what we had it into our file now if you check the directory this file has been moved from this transaction directory to the backup file directory so this is our original file now rather using this file to string transformer which was transforming the data into the string format i want to transform it into the json format so i switch off the server instead of using file to string transformer i just delete it and search for the transform message where i'll mention my custom transformation logic i click on this here i just mention only payload whatever the data i'm coming from the uh, i'm getting from the file i'll be reading fully now inside output i'll be mentioning application slash json that's it it will transform the data into the json format so let's again try to run this application and see what do we get all right our application is deployed but it's not picking up any file because the file has been moved to another directory so let's clear the console and again i'll move that file from backup files to that transaction directory i cut from here and paste it into this directory again now if i go to this the file has been picked up now it will transform into json format and it will print onto this console so here we are getting the json form of data we have transformed that csv data using the transform message component and printing using the logger so this is how we can use a file connector component to read a file from a particular directory now we will see how we can write or create a csv file in mulesoft using file connector for that purpose i'm going to use one rest endpoint this is a flight rest endpoint which will return an array of json response i'm going to accept this json data and transform it into a csv format and write it into a file so let's go ahead and create a flow for it so the first component i'll be needing is a http listener so i click and drag it into the palette i'll be creating a new flow for it so i just give it as a http listener the name inside connector configuration i click on this plus symbol i give host and port as is i click okay inside this path i say write csv file allowed method as get i save it now the second component will be http request connector so again i click http component drag it into my process section display name i change to flight details i save it inside connector configuration i click on this plus symbol now here the port host and base path i'll be taking it from this url so this is my host i copy it add it over here port number is by default 80 inside here path is this one so i just give simple or i keep base path as empty i click on okay here i'll mention the path method allowed is get 
that's it now this will be giving me the array of JSONs. I want to transform it into a CSV so for that purpose I'll be using transform message I'll append it to this flight details component now here I click on this preview I'll just remove this two curly braces and type payload now I'll select the sample input metadata so I click on this here I click on this action I have given over here is the flight response the sample JSON so I click on this I select it okay so this is my sample response which I will be getting from this rest endpoint as now here I change the output type to application slash JSON that's it but now we want it as in a CSV format so I change it to CSV it will not directly transform it into a CSV format so for that purpose I'll add the output metadata so I click on this define metadata I have given the sample reserve sample response of CSV format which I would like to accept I click on this so these many parameters I want from that JSON data so this is what I have given so I click on select now it's just a job of drag and drop so I click on this context I want this ID so I'll be just dragging it and connecting to this my ID so automatically the transform message will be written over here or the transform logic would be written over here code will be mapped to code price is mapped to price departure date similarly I'll map all the fields okay I just now I just make it bigger now as you can see the preview has been changed now we're getting the CSV data over here and this is my transformation logic now transformation has been completed we'll be getting the CSV data now now I want to dump it into a file so again I'll be needing a file component so I, this time it will it will be acting as a output file or output endpoint inside path I need to mention the directory location so I have created one directory for it flight CSV response so this is my path I mention it over here and path property file name will be let's say flight flights dot CSV that's it we would not be needing anything else so this is my flow created let's go ahead and test it run as mule application all right my application is deployed now I will hit the endpoint so from postman this is my request I click on send As you can see, it has written a file to this location, this mule flight CSV response. It's a directory. So if I go to the directory, I should see my file created. If I open it, this is the data which I got from that rest endpoint in JSON format. I transform it into a CSV format and created a new file. So this is how we can use a file connector component to write a file.